Hi guys, this is Simeon. This is part two of building my heated cold frame. Uh, it sounds funny, I know, but uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna finish it today, you'll be part of that, and then I'm gonna explain in detail how I plan to use this efficiently and uh, just walk you through the process. My plan is to start my seedlings in here. Uh, the sprouting will happen in our house, but then they will come out here. There will be a plastic cover here that we can just move back when it gets too hot. And that way the plants are right away gonna be hardy, exposed to the direct sun and to the um, wind and all of that. But at night in our climate, it still gets very cold. So I have two heaters that I wanna put in here to just take the edge off um, if there are a couple late nights where it gets uh, fairly cold still I'm gonna start using this hopefully in April and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a double layer plastic at least I'm gonna try to do that a double layer plastic on top of here so that it insulates a little better so um, let's get this started and see if it works I would have done this out on the lawn, but it's a little windy and um, it would just keep blowing away, but this works fine. I'm still young.
Okay, so we have a double layer here. I will fasten the plastic now um, around here so it's stuck. And I will move all of these up here and put some nails in here that keep this plastic on here because um, what I just um, stapled against here, that won't last. Okay guys, um, now the plastic is on here. You can see that I put these two one by one, 25 by 25 millimeter pieces of wood straight across here, which keeps the two plastic layer at a distance. The board down here, it hangs down, so it will put tension on this. And there's a good amount of tension on here. Um, I believe that most rainwater will run off here. And then I can just roll it up like this. And like this, this cold frame will be able to air through. Um, the, I made it very tall so that in the back towards the house I can have the bell pepper plants and the, um, all the tomato plants that are going to grow a little taller before they will end up going in the greenhouse. And up front here I will be able to put all the trays with all the soil blocks and I will be using this probably all summer long, all season long I should say to start new plants before I put them out into our garden beds. Um, I can roll it up when it's um, raining or drizzling, when it's too much rain or getting cold, I can close it. And my only problem now is at night time when it still gets cold, but I got something for that. I'm not sure if that's safe and if it works, we'll look at this together now. So I bought these plugs here that I'm gonna plug into an extension cord uh, this cost about um, 100 Swedish crowns, I think, um, about $10 roughly. And I'm going to put that in the middle and then I have two little heaters that will go to the left and to the right of it. And um, during night time we can plug them in and keep them at a low temperature, let's say maybe 10 degrees Celsius. And that way um, they can jump on and keep this from freezing in there. Okay, so this is the setup. And again, these heaters are just supposed to keep the temperature up in the nights a little bit. I'm not gonna use this bed yet. I'm gonna close it now, let it warm up all the next days. The house, the wall of the house will warm up. All the sand will warm up and everything. And then maybe in a week or two, depending on the weather, I will put my first plants out here and these heaters should just be on a little bit at, on the cold nights. Okay guys, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. The plastic cost about $35. The fabric for the weeds cost about $10, that's $45. Both heaters, um, let's say together $30, that's $75. And then um, the plug. The extension cord we had, the wood we had, the nails we had. So I built all of this for under a hundred dollars and it's fairly big. It's two meters by almost five meters, 4.8 meters. Um, I have lots of room in there and since we're always going to move out some plants, we will always have room for new plants. I hope that this will go well. Stay tuned this season to see how it goes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.